there, this is Cassie and uh, in this video we'll see what kind of energies we should expect for our love life this summer. I will make uh, three different stacks, each stack has six cards and on each stack I will place three different shells and a beach stone since it's summertime and you will choose the one that resonates the most and that will be the personal message to you. Take a deep breath, concentrate, take your time, take a look at the different stacks and choose one, one, two or three. And let's see what kind of message the cards have for you. So we start with the first stack, the round shell. And we have the Ten of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords indicates that you had a hard time, you went through a rough patch and you had to face difficulties, obstacles. It wasn't easy, maybe there was an ending in your love life, maybe uh, there was a big fight or uh, negative feelings or you felt betrayed, someone cheated on you. In any case, things were not easy. But I have to say that I always see the Ten of Swords as a kind of metaphysical scalpel that uh, removes all the unhealthy parts in a relationship, all those things that makes us suffer and uh, it shows us the truth, it shows us how things really are. And with that knowing, with that understanding, we can make things better for us. We have to accept that an ending happened, we have to accept the truth of a situation, to see things as they really are without rose-tinted glasses. And now we need to move on, and that's actually the message of the King of Wands, that's the next card. The King of Wands can be a male, a new presence in your life, a very strong presence, as the King of Wands always is a fire sign, an Aries, a Sagittarius or a Leo, but it can be any person that has the strong traits of those fire signs, charming, outgoing, social, and uh, it appears that you will connect with this person or you will reconnect with this person and um, they will take action to show you that they care they will take action to show you that they like you. So it won't be hot and cold or on and off. Consistent efforts and uh, actions that are meaningful. So uh, this person will actually give the right type of response or he will say he will do the right things. And that will be a big sign that you are on the right track. And uh, we have the six of wands then. The Six of Wands is a card of balance, so it basically says that balance will be restored. Chemistry, compatibility will be very strong. Sixes show balance, show that you are attracted to each other like a magnet. And it also shows that um, the situation will be more harmonious, will be, there won't be so many ups and downs. Some ups and downs are always to be expected in a relationship that can be avoided in any type of relationship but at least under this energy you will see you will find that you that there is common ground that there are common goals common needs and that's very important feelings are not enough are never enough you need other things for a relationship to work and that's the energy of the six of wands that basically says that all those things or many of those things that are needed for a relationship to work out will be there. So we are looking at a more positive phase and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, some caution is required because the Seven of Pentacles not only shows an ongoing situation that will culminate in this summer, it also shows some old patterns, some patterns that are being repeated in your relationships. It could be making the same mistakes over and over, or it could be 
that uh, there's something that's uh, dragging out for too long and you don't get what you want but you are being patient you haven't yet seen the results you were hoping for but you are still holding on now that's a good thing if there is progress even if progress is slow because pentacles are slow but if you see no progress at all and there is a situation a relationship of yours that's going on for too long for years in some cases and you're waiting on an outcome and that outcome never comes you may have to choose you may have to decide whether to start exploring other options sevens are always about options about choices you have to make to get things going to get things moving forward and here's the ace of cups the ace of cups is a new beginning in love so there's a good chance that this summer you will decide to start a new relationship or to make a new beginning in your love life now whether you will decide to start a new relationship and give a new person a chance or you will decide to reconnect and give another chance to a pre-existing relationship that's up to you that's your call to make but in any case aces show potential so the message of this card is that potential will be around you life the universe will give you the opportunity to start afresh to make new choices to write a new story with new characters a new chapter that will allow more happiness and more stability to come into your life and finally the page of pentacles the page of pentacles can be a person a new person who's an earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn and um, the page of pentacles means that you will have to give it time to get to know each other meaning you should not jump into a relationship too soon or you should not drag too many expectations in a new relationship you have to give yourself time to get to know each other especially if you have a habit of getting too attached too soon and that didn't uh, bring the outcomes you were hoping for pages are like aces they show new beginnings and especially this page shows a new beginning that has potential to become something solid and long lasting pentacles are slow things will move slowly but at the same time you will be making a strong base to build upon and to have a relationship that will last for a long time depending on what you are looking for it appears that uh, you will have uh, different opportunities different options that could lead to different outcomes but it feels that this will be an exciting summer an exciting time for you and uh, things may be very surprising at times because all this new energy will come when you least expect it now for the second stack the stack with the starfish we have the king of swords the king of swords must be someone in your life a near sign or ascendant and um, this person must have taken some distance from you or there was an argument there was a disruption swords are usually disruptive and they have to do with communications so perhaps something that was said and it was misunderstood or uh, someone took something uh, personally and there is some distance now communications may be blocked too and um, there are some hard feelings especially because you don't really understand each other you don't understand each other's needs you there have been misinterpretations and um, emotionally there is a blockage there is an obstacle you should know that uh, the person uh, represented by the king of swords may or may not be an air sign but in any case they want to do the right thing so that means at times they may decide to leave their feelings aside and to do what their logic tells them especially if there are other if there are other people involved that they are dependent on them and then it's the seven of wands the seven of wands shows resistance shows opposition so it kind of confirms 
the energy we have already seen in the King of Swords, there seem to be differences between you and that person. Differences that have not been reconciled. So you want one thing, they want another thing. They see a different outcome, you saw a different outcome. However, there might, there must be the desire to be together, to remain together, and that could cause some ups and downs in a relationship or on and off so for a period of time you remain connected you are communicating and so on and then one of you takes distance and there is this push and pull in this uh, connection now the seven of wands also shows stubbornness the inability to see things from another's point of view and as you can imagine, that could uh, make things more difficult too. If there is no common ground, feelings are not enough. And uh, we got the Hierophant. The Hierophant, first of all, I must say that with this card, this relationship seems to have long-lasting potential, long-term potential. And it also has the potential to become something serious. Because don't forget that the Hierophant is one of the cards that show commitment. And by commitment, I don't necessarily mean marriage, although that could be the case too. But I mean that the relationship is serious, is committed, is stable. Each one of you takes responsibility. You own your part in your relationship. But again, the Hierophant shows stubbornness and that someone is rigid. They want things on their terms, uh, they want to control the situation and maybe that energy goes both ways, meaning they are doing that and you are doing the same thing. So there is this weird mirroring, but you can't always see that. Maybe you feel that they are stubborn, they are not negotiating. And uh, with the eight of cups we got now, I must say that uh, if this goes on for too long, you may decide to let it go, to move away, to explore other options. And um, with the Eight of Cups, there's always another option, there's always a calling, there's always something that's calling you on the other side. And that makes me suspect that there might be a new person too in your life, someone that will show interest to you they will like you, they will make a move to show it clearly and uh, you will be tempted to give this uh, a try, which isn't bad, especially if you've been in a situation, in a relationship for too long and you feel that it's going around in circles or you feel that it's going nowhere. And um, maybe you have already thoughts of uh, starting to explore other options because it's what we attract basically. And with the Queen of Wands here, I'm sure that you will want to take things in your hands. You will want to, to have control over the situation because that's a card of action. It's a very high energy card, the Queen of Wands. All wands are high energy and it's about what you want to do, what, what you feel passionate about. If you don't feel passionate in a relationship, it can't work out. If you feel that your personal expression, that your personal needs, that your desires are blocked and the other person cannot understand what, where you stand and what you want, it's very possible that you decide to go down a different path. And now once they realize that, they may chase you because the Five of Wands is competition. So if someone sees that there is another person that is starting to pursue you, they may start taking action in a way that will be very surprising to you. And I'm not saying that's a healthy situation or that one should take action only when they feel threatened by another. But um, that's the energy of the Five of Wands and there might be some power struggles in your relationship. Your differences and the fact that you can't find common ground may stem from the fact that uh, each one of you is trying to dominate the relationship. It's try is trying to be the leader of the relationship. On another note, the Five of Wands shows different options. It shows that there will be 
other people interested in you. So if your choice is to explore your love life, do so because it will be a very busy, very interesting summer with lots of developments, lots of uh, passion and fire energy, sexual energy will be strong. So you will have a very interesting summer in your hands. And now let's go to the final stack. It's the one with the spiky shell. It's the one I would choose, by the way. And let's see, it's the hermit. Okay, the hermit means that uh, lately you must have gone within, you must have come in touch with your deeper needs, with your deeper uh, desires, and that's a good thing. Maybe you felt a little lonely, especially if you are not in a relationship and you are looking for, a, for one, if you are single. But uh, even if you are in a relationship, because it's very common that uh, we are in a relationship and we still feel lonely, we still feel that we are not understood, that our partner does not understand our needs. The good thing uh, with the hermit is that uh, he, he goes within and he finds a solution. He finds the missing piece. He finds what he needs to do in order to pass to the next stage. And if you haven't done so already, I expect that very soon you will come to a realization. You will find a solution. You will find a way out of any difficulties that you may be facing. The hermit is the light at the end of the tunnel. And um, here's the tower. Tower has a bad rap in tarot, I know that. But it confirms the fact that there will be a realization. Things will get clear. If you were confused, if you didn't know what to do about a relationship or about someone, whether to wait or not to wait, or um, whether uh, or if you had other options, whether to pursue other options, now there will be an event. There will be something that will open your eyes, and suddenly you will be able to see very clearly what, what is going on and what you need to do and your actions may be even disruptive someone may be very shocked by what you are going to do or what what you are going to say but uh, don't worry about that because there will be such an intense energy intense feelings uh, you will uh, be unstoppable basically and under this energy you will do what is best for you which means that someone might be displeased in this process or shocked, like I said, because you may become a little unpredictable, but that's what is basically needed. The tower, even though it's feared in tarot, is an energy that is very, very beneficial when change is needed. And if we fail to make those changes by our own, then life will intervene and will bring the change that's required. And in some cases we may not like that, so it's better that we do what's, what needs to be done. And uh, the chariot is the third card we get in this stack. The chariot is a very um, focused energy. It's about getting what you want, no matter what. And it's very interesting that in this deck, I always uh, look at the illustrations of the deck I'm using. The chariot is a ram, is uh, the Aries energy. Although the chariot is associated with cancer, basically. So there might be someone who's cancer, sun or ascendant. And that person may play a role, a significant role in your life. Um, the problem here is that this person has intense feelings, intense emotions. They don't show it though. They are trying to protect their heart. They are guarded, reserved. They are trying to protect their feelings, which means they must have been hurt in the past and uh, now they are carrying baggage. For that reason, you may find it difficult to connect with them. But uh, the Three of Cups means that there will be growth, emotional growth, connection. The Three of Cups is a very different energy. It means that around midsummer, you will find that all this tension, all this uh, strong energy gets more mellow, more gentle, and uh, you will have great time with people, you will date, you will uh, connect with another person on a deeper level emotionally. 
and uh, under the energy of the Three of Cups, you may find it interesting that you are starting to feel attracted to a friend, or a friend might start seeing you with different eyes and they start uh, flirting with you, or you will have a friend with benefits. Alternatively, a friend of yours may introduce you to someone new. In any case, friends will be a strong element in your love life this summer. And we have the lovers too. What can we say? This is a very good sign for a love reading. It shows that the, it will be a very strong summer uh, love-wise. The energies will be very strong in your love life. You will connect with someone. We should not forget that the lovers is also a choice, a decision you have to make. A decision that uh, could be between two persons. There might be someone that you have unfinished the business with and someone new appears. So there might be a dilemma there, uh, uncertainty. Or the other person you are involved to must have a, a decision to make about love. The Lovers is a karmic card. It shows karmic meetings, developments that feel fated, synchronicities, all kinds of energies, metaphysical energies that may come into play and push you to meet with someone in a way that may be very surprising and very fated. So you need to remain open, very alert, very aware of your actions and also of uh, certain patterns that may be replaying in your relationships. Because with karmic cards often come lessons that we need to learn about how to function in a relationship, how to be more happy, how to have more self-esteem. It could be a different kind of lesson for uh, any of us. With the lovers, a lesson is often the case. And uh, with the two of swords, it seems there will be an agreement with someone. It could be reconciliation. You see in the picture how those swords meet and there's that ribbon between them, a ribbon that they do not cut. So you are not cutting cords with someone. For those of you that uh, had a breakup and uh, you want a reconciliation, that will be offered to you. It appears that a reconciliation can happen or at least the potential, the opportunity is there. And um, But you have to come to an agreement, meaning to find common ground, to make compromises, because it won't be easy to make it work another way. Getting back together is one thing, if that's what you want, but making it work is a very different story. So you will be able to reconcile with someone, to reunite with someone. But in this stack, we have many, many cards that show you will have to choose between different options. So reconciliation, if that's what you have in mind, will not be your only option. There will be other paths you can explore. And it's always up to you, of course. It's always uh, your call to make which path you will take and that path will uh, lead to a specific outcome and different chapters and so on. So these were the predictions for uh, your love life this summer. If you like this video, make sure you share, subscribe and let me know if there's something you need to know, something you want to ask the cards. Write your suggestions, your requests in the comments below and you may find that your question is answered with a new video in the coming weeks. I wish you a fantastic summer, take good care of yourself and don't forget to always love yourself more than those that hurt you. Thank you for watching and bye for now.